Hi there, my wonderful friends. My name is Sophie and welcome to my channel, The Diamond Help Desk. Today, we will be unboxing Oraloa's Cross Stitch Kits. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have been so excited to show you these because I want to get one started. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you like the content here. I have crafty stuff, mostly diamond painting stuff though. I'm not gonna lie to you. I do love different crafts and they will be included in this channel. So if you like that kind of stuff, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. And also if you would like to get notifications from me, hit that bell as well. If you're coming back, thank you so much for the continued support. I greatly appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. I actually have two to show you and I will get to it. I've been, guys, seriously. These have been waiting for me to be unboxed for a minute now. And I am super excited because I don't I just I just really really love this. Look at that cutie. Cutie patootie. Ooh. I'm just zooming you guys out just a bit so we can get both of these in the camera. I got this bag that came along with this one. We can open that one up and see what's going on. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Okay, okay, okay. This seems like a little welcome to Oraloa kind of thing. Well, it says it right there. <laughs> but I got this little pin. A little <laughs> with a tiki um a tiki mask and a hula girl playing the ukulele then we have these stickers that go along with it same here we go let your creativity sparkle and these cards oh this is so cute with their art, Aloha Treasure. Ooh, I'm gonna do this later. <laughs> um, okay, so we have these uh, stamp cross stitch kit patterns. So, oh, forgot one. Ooh, this could be made into a cover minder. Cute. With stamp cross stitch patterns, you are told where to put the floss. The floss in this case, it's the string that you string along here. And I have worked on several uh, stamp cross stitch patterns. And my culture likes to make um, um, like napkins with flowers and a lot of decorative things that you cross stitch and you embroider. So I am familiar uh, with stamp cross stitch patterns, but not familiar with kits like this because I've never seen like a whole full blown kit. Uh, in Mexico, I would just buy the napkin with the pattern on it, and then I would go and pick out the floss and um, and then, you know, do it whatever colors I want, basically. But this is more specific. This feels more like a diamond painting to me. And um, I just wanted something to be able to do maybe on my break or something at work, something that I can carry in my backpack, or, you know, we'll see. Let's start with this one. I'm gonna open this to the side just in case there's something. I know that with cross stitching, I uh, showing the pattern, the actual cross stitch pattern is unethical. So I will go ahead and do this off camera and show you only the things that um, that I can. And um, we'll see. Okay, back. Before I show you this, I wanted to show you, the back actually has really detailed instructions on how to cross stitch. It gives you how um, 11 count uh, uses three strands. This is something that's not too familiar with me because in Mexico, we just use basically the whole thing. This uh, this picture right here, this cardboard piece is the actual pattern that I'm not going to take out. Um, it gives you uh, also what is included in here. Back here, uh, cleaning maintenance, um, iron, how to stitch the cloth and then um, over here reading the symbols, finding the color, and then um, notes on here too. And then uh, some uh, descriptions on how to embroider. So this is super helpful, definitely we'll be using that. And this is the, um, the actual printed cloth. This is called, what is this called? Renard Spring by Voyonet. So this is a 40 by 40. And 40 by 40 is uh, your standard um, snack size kit for diamond painting. 
and here we have the colors. Let me just take that off. Look at these colors. Oh, sorry for hitting you. <laughs> oh gosh, these are so pretty. So this is the floss. And then you also have, um, these are 14 count so uh, threads. And then we have it separated here. So I love this. I mean, definitely we'll be organizing this a little better because these these um, these strings do get <laughs> tangled up sometimes. And just, I really, really love this. These colors give me life. So let's look at the, at the picture. Definitely, this will definitely be the, it's like a fox fairy. That's why I was like, oh my gosh, I need. So definitely you can see it here, how these are gonna be the flowers for the fox fairy. And then the backgrounds are going to be here. I feel like they're separating it by where you find them in the picture. That's my thoughts. I do not know how they separate these, to be honest. And let's look at the canvas. So with the canvas, it's actually very thick. And it has the stamped pattern on it. Look at that, how cute. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, look at that. So this is this is going to be the picture. It is uh it's a it's a decent size, I would say. And then you have the legends here on the sides and on the bottoms. And it like I was saying, it is a thicker um I'm not used to this kind of material for cross stitching, to be completely frank with you. Um the cloth that I've seen for cross stitching is a lot um a lot thinner and a lot softer. This is a little rough, but I know that if you throw um, cross stitch the finishes in the wash, the the actual pattern washes off. So this would wash off and it'll make the cloth a lot um, more um, like softer, moldable kind of feel. And I just, I just really wanted to try this and definitely show you guys um, me working on this. But this is going to take me a minute. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, this is cross stitch. I know cross stitch takes a minute and sometimes I get a little frustrated with it. Not even going to lie. I do have a couple of um, cross stitch patterns that I haven't finished yet, but this will be my new uh, to go work in progress because just look at that little face. I think I just need something to motivate me to keep going like a like a picture that I really, really like. And this is definitely one of them. This one right here was actually the first one that I bought. I was waiting for the other one to come um, just so just so I can show both of them together. But this is the first one I bought and I thought it was gorgeous. This is Entre le Crepuscle à l'Aube by Maud Lamoine. Um, I hope I said that right. Entre le, <laughs> Entre le, crep Entre le Crepuscle Entre le crépuscle et l'aube by Maud Lamoine. Ooh, my French, it's leaving me, guys. Anyway, this is a 40 by 60 centimeter. And this is a little bigger than I expected. Um, you can definitely see this, this one has a lot more colors and a lot more going on. The picture definitely is beautiful. Here we have um, some moths down here, a beautiful bird and definitely love the mandala background of this. Like the other one, this one had instructions on how to cross stitch and, oh, I like the embroidery one. See, French knots and uh, definitely different ones instead of just, um, the X's in cross stitch. So um, I've done some embroidery things, but I am not very good at embroidery. I actually just do it kind of freehand, which honestly, I feel like it's a bad idea by mine. Um, this, this thing right here, again, this is the pattern for the cross stitch kit. It comes, it looks like it comes with the pattern. I'm not gonna show the pattern. So it probably has uh, more instructions in there. So the pattern, the actual uh, cross stitch cloth, and then the floss. Oh my goodness, but look at all these colors. 
Let's take this out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, it also comes with a needle. Forgot to show you in the last one. So it comes with two needles right here. So this is 11 count, three threads, three treads. Oh, this is three of them. Wow. One, two, three. <laughs> so, wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> so many colors and I do love all of these colors. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> and you can definitely see all these and then see them in the back too. I will, once I get one of these kitted up, which will be the other one, I am not gonna work on this one until I finish my first one because I feel like this is like the next level kind of thing for this one. The other one, it seems like a snack size and then you're going, moving on to bigger things. But uh, once I get the other one kitted up, it will definitely look a lot more organized than this. Plus, I, I know, I know this will frustrate me, like, immediately. So, and then we have the, the um, actual cloth here. This is that, this cloth is actually feels a little thicker than the other one. And like I said before, if you throw these in the wash, the pattern um, washes off the, um, the stamped pattern. And then it'll make this a lot softer. Soft, soft, soft. Okay, guys, this is a whole diamond painting, y'all. 40 by 60. This takes up my whole, let's see, not my whole table, I'm lying to you, but it's, it's definitely pretty big. And you can see, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let me just put, let me just fold it so you can see some of the details, some of the mandala right here. And then each one of these symbols means something, definitely what color. And I will definitely um, be able to follow it better once I see the pattern. But this is what I can show you guys. And then we have like the eyes here. I think the bird looks a lot, um, not a lot better, but you can actually kind of tell what is what on here. The flowers, the moss in the bottom. Oh my goodness. I think that's, I think honestly the moths in the bottom of this, um, of this kit was my favorite part of it. And um, that's mainly why I got it. <laughs> but that, that fairy, that fox fairy, fox fairy, I had to have. Here we have both of the colors together. Like I said, this one also comes with two needles. Guys, let me know what you think. I, um, I've never bought from Orloa. This is actually my first purchase from them. And honestly, they arrived here at a really good time. It didn't take too long. And I know that they ship from Canada. And even though they're shipping from Canada, it got here maybe in three, four days. It was super quick. It was shipped in no time. So great customer service. And I was able to reach out and talk about some of the other products that I bought and they responded with the quickness. I have no problems with this company. I still have two diamond paintings to open from them and I will show them in the next video. I just wanted this to be more of a cross stitch um, bonanza. But um, first thoughts about this, definitely a little different than what I am used to. Um, honestly, uh, this floss may not be for me. It feels a little rough around the edges um and i know that i this is just me being picky honestly this is doable i don't think i don't think that i'll have a problem with this at all i've just worked with different kinds of floss um if you but again i am not a cross stitch expert guys i might be one day we'll see maybe this is this is um a hobby that i will definitely keep up with i mean i have like I was saying, I do have patterns that I got in Mexico, but I haven't really kept up with it. But look at that face. That face dissolves it. <laughs> Y'all have a fantastic rest of your week. We will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.